Have you been searching on the internet on how to send bulk SMS? Well, if this resonates to you, then I will say you're very lucky to come across this video on YouTube. This is because what I will be teaching you in this video isn't found anywhere else. This long video isn't just going to show you how to send bulk SMS, but at the end of watching this video and following everything step by step, you will be a proud owner of setting up your own bulk SMS sender. I made this video and some people were finding it difficult to set up their own bulk SMS sender. So in this video, I have decided to go over again, take my time, and walk you through everything step by step without leaving any stone unturned. Yes, you heard it right. By the end of this video, you will be the proud owner of your very own bulk SMS sender and start sending bulk SMS. If you're someone who have been paying huge fees to send bulk SMS using third-party services, this video is going to be your savior. Imagine being able to call yourself the boss of your very own bulk SMS sender. How cool is that? This video is going to be a bit longer, but if you make time and watch everything till the very end and follow everything I will be showing you step by step, I promise you will unlock the power of running your own bulk SMS system, giving you full control and helping you to save money in the long run. Trust me, you're going to love this step-by-step -step video, so make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't, or if this is your first time watching my video. Enough of the talking. Now let's jump straight into the video. We cannot have our own bulk SMS sender without a website, so we need to first set up a website before configuring the bulk SMS sender. And for every website you see on the internet, there are two things involved. The two things involved is the domain and hosting. The domain in this situation is the name of the website, such as Facebook.com, Google.com, Netflix.com. These are all domain names of other websites, and you can choose any name you want for your domain. And hosting, on the other hand, is what keeps the website live on the internet. So in this scenario, we need to first get a domain name for our bulk SMS sender and a hosting. Let's do this step by step starting with the domain. And for getting the domain, we are going to use a service called Hostinger to purchase our domain name. But feel free to use any other service you like to buy your domain. So let's visit Hostinger.com. Click on Domains. Now enter any name you wish to call your website. In my situation, I'm going to use Bulk SMS Arena. So I will type that and hit search. After deciding on which of the domains you want to choose, click Add to Cart and proceed with the payment. If you don't have an account with Hostinger, enter your email address, but if you already have an account, make sure to log in first before purchasing the domain. Now select your preferred payment method and proceed to make the payment. I'm going to skip the part I was making the payment to save time. Alright, so I have purchased the domain and there you see on the screen. Now remember I first told you that to host any website, you need a domain and a hosting, right? So now that we have the domain name ready, the next step is getting a hosting or a cPanel to make the domain we've purchased live on the internet. And when it comes to the hosting, we have numerous websites that sells hosting services. But preferably in this video, we are going to use a website called ProHoster. So open a new tab and visit ProHoster.info. Click on Login. Click Sign In. Now click on Registration and sign up for an account. Confirm your email and log into your account. Alright, this is the dashboard of ProHoster. Now when you create account for the first time, you need to verify your phone number. 
But what I have realized is that their phone number verification doesn't work. Meaning, if you enter your phone number to receive OTP code to verify your account, you won't get the code. So this is how we go about this. Since we are going to purchase a hosting, we need to first deposit money into our account, about $10, and message them to manually verify our account, and they will do that quickly. So let's first deposit at least $10 into our account and proceed. And to do that, click on the balance here. Enter the amount you want to deposit, but make it $10. Next, select your preferred payment method and proceed with the payment. I like to pay with crypto, so I will pay using coin payments. After your payment is indicated as paid, click on Continue to Seller Store. After doing that your payment will be confirmed by ProHoster. Next close it and head back to your dashboard. It says payment is in progress, so I need to wait some time. Alright, the money I deposited has been credited into my account. Now before we proceed to purchase the hosting or the cPanel to host our website, we need to contact ProHoster's support to verify our account, and their reply is quick. So to do that, click on the Support tab and click Submit Tickets. Click on Add. Enter the subject as help needed or anything you prefer. Set the priority to high. Now enter your message and tell them you have deposited money into your account, but you can't verify your account so they should help you fix that. And they will do that as soon as possible. When you're done, click Submit. After a few minutes of sending my message, I got this reply from them and my account was verified. Now that the account is verified, let's now purchase the hosting. To purchase the hosting, click on Products slash Services and click on Shared Hosting. Click on Order. Their hosting is very affordable. It costs just $2.5 per month. So the $10 you deposit into your account can have your hosting up and running for four whole months, which is crazy. Now this part is very important. Here, select cPanel Hosting. For the period payment, I will go with three months, which costs just $7.02. Now when you're done with the settings, click on Order. Here, at the Domain Name field, Copy and paste the domain you bought from Hostinger and click Add to Cart. Click Pay. When you get to the payment method, choose Pay with Account Balance since we have already deposited money into our account. Our order has been placed and it's pending, so we need to wait to be active. My order is now active, meaning my hosting is ready. At this point we have both domain and the hosting ready to host our bulk SMS sender online. The big question is, what do we do next? We need to link the domain to the hosting since we bought both services on two different websites. So they need to talk to each other to make our website visible on the internet. And to link them, we are going to use a service called Cloudflare. But before that, let's first log into our ProHoster cPanel. To do that, select your order and click Instructions. Now this will be your cPanel login credentials, so use them to log in. Please note this, the ProHoster cPanel and the website itself is in Russian, so make sure to use Chrome browser to log into your cPanel to be able to translate the text into English. 
Now let's visit Cloudflare and link this cPanel to our domain as stated earlier. So open a new tab and visit cloudflare.com. It's free to use so sign up for an account and log in. Once you're on your dashboard, click on Add Site. Now enter the domain name you bought from Hostinger and click Add Site. Scroll down and choose the free service and then continue. Now when you get to this point, you need to delete all these records, so let's do that real quick. When you're done, click Continue. Now copy the Cloudflare name servers and point it to your domain at Hostinger. So I will copy the first one and herd back to Hostinger. Click on DNS slash name servers. Click change name servers. Now remove Hostinger name servers and replace them with the Cloudflare name servers and save. After changing them, it's going to take few hours to fully propagate. Now let's refresh the page and see if it has fully propagated. Great. When you see this message on your Cloudflare dashboard, then it means your name servers is fully propagated and they're now talking to each other. Please make sure to see this message before moving to the next step. We've now gotten to the point where we are going to link the domain name and the cPanel we bought from Hostinger and ProHoster. After doing this, then we will also have our website live on the internet. So to do that, click on DNS. Click Add Record. Make sure the type is an A record. What we are doing here is linking our domain to our hosting, so don't get confused. The name field is where we will add our domain, and the IPv4 address field is where we will add our cPanel IP address. So this is how we link them. So at the name field, just put there the at symbol. And at the IPv4 address field, visit your cPanel. Now copy the shared IP address and paste it at the IPv4 address field at Cloudflare. So if you read here, it says my domain name, which is bulk snsarena.com points to my cPanel IP address. So that is how it works. Next, turn off proxy status and save. So that's it. Our website is now live on the internet. But before we proceed, let's add a few more records. I'm not going to explain what each does, just follow me step by step. So add another record. Make sure it's an A record. At the name field type www and point it to your cPanel IP address and save. Now follow me for the rest. Now for the next type of record, choose MX. Put the at symbol at the name field. At the mail server field, type mail.yourdomainname.com. So in my situation, it's going to be mail.bulksmsarena.com. Set the priority to 10 and save. We are going to add few more records, but before that, let's head back to our cPanel and do some configuration. The first one is securing our website to have this padlock you see here on our website. So to have that we need to install what we call SSL certificate. So click on SSL status below your domain name, or you can also search SSL here. Now check this box to select everything and click run auto SSL. After the SSL is successfully installed, you will see your domain marked as green. That means your website is secured and you will now have this padlock on your website. Now if I scroll down you could see that mail.bulksmsarena.com, webmail.bulksmsarena.com, and www.bulksmsarena.com are all marked as green. 
but the rest are still red. The reason is that we pointed the cPanel IP address to these subdomains, and that is what we did here on our Cloudflare. So if we heard back, all those still in red were not pointed to the cPanel. These are not necessary, that's why we didn't add them. So I believe you now understand the reason why we added these records. Now let's proceed. Next, heard back to your cPanel dashboard by clicking on the cPanel logo, and let's check our website. Now if you follow everything step by step and after visiting your website and you see this screen which says index of blah blah blah, then it means your website is now lit on the internet. So congratulations. And we also have our website secured. Now you're seeing this screen because we don't have anything hosted on our website. We are now going to host the bulk SMS sender files which will be done shortly. What you've learned so far is the same process all the websites you see on the internet follows. It's the same process you've just learned. Nothing extraordinary. Now before we proceed, whether you like it or not, I know you're enjoying the video. So please if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, kindly do that to motivate me make more videos for you. If you check my video upload timing I hardly post consistently. The time range is one month which is bad, because I'm a very busy person and I do lots of staffs. Now when we get to 10,000 subscribers then I will try and post more detailed video for you. Now let's proceed. We've now gotten to the second phase. The first phase was getting our website appear on the internet, and that has been done. In the second phase, we need to host the bulk SMS sender script and perform necessary configuration. But before we get into that, let's first configure email deliverability on our cPanel to be able to send and receive emails. And to do that, herd back to your cPanel dashboard and click possibility of mail delivery. Some cPanel will be indicated as email deliverability, so kindly note that. Click on Manage. Now we need to configure these records. Starting with the DKIM record, highlight and copy default .domain key without your domain name and herd back to Cloudflare. Add a new record. For the record type, select TXT. Paste the domain key you copied at the name field. Next, copy and paste the meaning into the content field on Cloudflare and save. Let's repeat same for the SPF record. So add a new TXT record. Here, only copy the meaning text. At the name field put there the at symbol and paste what you copied into the content field and save. Now when we refresh the page, you could see that the DKIM and the SPF records are now marked as valid. So if you also follow the same process, you should be able to achieve this result. We are only left with one more record which is called DMARC record. And for that, open a new tab and visit this link. I will leave it in the video description. Enter your domain name and click Submit. You should also get your SPF marked as green if you did everything correct. Now select the DMARC and follow me with the rest of the settings. When you get to this point, highlight and copy the underscore DMARC without your domain name and herd back to your Cloudflare account. Next, add a new TXT record and paste the DMARC you copied into the name field. Lastly, copy and paste the text into the content field and save. Make sure to only highlight and copy the text in the quotation marks. We are now done with all the necessary configuration in Cloudflare. Let's now move to phase 2 by hosting the bulk SMS sender script on our cPanel. So click on the cPanel logo and herd back to the cPanel main dashboard. 
we need to first purchase the bulk SNMS sender files, and to get that, open a new tab and visit frankserena.com. Click on the all-in-one bulk SMS sender. Now enter your credentials and click Proceed with Coinbase. When you get to the payment page, you don't necessarily have to have a Coinbase before you can make payment. You can use any crypto platform you have to make the payment. I personally use Binance, so to make the payment I will choose any of the crypto I want to pay with. After selecting the crypto you want, you will be generated an address and the exact amount to pay. So in my situation, I will copy this generated Litecoin address and pay exactly this amount. Yours will be different so kindly note that. After making the payment, you will be redirected to a thank you page as you see on the screen. When you get to this page, make sure to leave the page open till the status changes from pending to completed before you proceed. Alright, so mine has changed to completed so I will click on continue. Next, download the files to your computer and herd back to your cPanel dashboard. We are now going to host the bulk SMS sender file on our cPanel. And to do that, scroll down and click on File Manager. Click on public underscore HTML. Please this part is very important, so make sure to follow everything I'm doing step by step. So after clicking on the public HTML, click on the settings. Now check both home folder and show hidden files and then save. Now let's delete everything before uploading the all-in-one bulk SMS sender files. So click on choose all. Click delete. Finally, let's upload the files. So click on the upload icon which is indicated as download. Click Select a File button and upload the bulk SMS sender file you bought from Frank's Arena. Again, make sure to use Chrome browser and translate the language into English. When it's done uploading, herd back to the file manager and click Reload. Next, let's extract the file. So right-click on it and choose Extract from the menu. Please make sure you have this slash public underscore HTML in the field before clicking on Extract Files. If you follow me step by step, you won't encounter any problem. The file has been extracted. Next, open the Bulk SMS Sender File folder. Again, open the Fresh Installation File folder. After opening the Fresh Installation File folder, you will see all these folders and files. Please this part is very important so pay close attention. Now we need to move all these files into the public HTML folder. That way, anytime we visit our website domain, we will be able to see our website. So to move the files, click on Choose All. Next, click on the Move tab. Now this is the important part. You will see this pop up immediately after clicking on the Move tab. When you get to this point, highlight from bulk SMS sender file slash fresh installation file and delete. Please do not delete the slash public underscore HTML including the forward slash. Again, this part is very important so kindly note that. When you're done, click on move files. Now all the files will be moved to the public HTML folder. So if we click on that, we will see all the files. We are now done uploading the bulk SMS files to our cPanel. Next, visit your website and let's configure the bulk SMS sender. If you also use ProHoster for your cPanel, it's likely to encounter this error, so let's fix it. This error says PHP 8.1.0 or higher is required, meaning we need to increase the PHP version of our cPanel to 8.1. 
So head back to your cPanel main dashboard. In the search bar, type PHP. Now click on PHP version selection. The current version of my cPanel is 5.6, so that is why we got the error. Next, click on it and select version 8.1 and click Apply. If you refresh the page, you will see the changes. Now let's go back to our website and refresh the page. The first problem have been solved and we have encountered another one. Let's fix it. This one says the requested PHP zip extension is missing from your system. So to fix this, herd back to where you changed the PHP version to 8.1. Scroll down to the Z column. Now check the zip and everything will be solved. Alright, our website is now up and running. So again, congratulations for making it up to this point. It's not difficult. If you follow everything step by step, you should be able to get to this page. But we are not done yet, we still have few more configuration to do moving forward. Here, all the requirements are enabled except the file info PHP extension. So let's enable that. Again, herd back to the PHP selection page on your cPanel. Now look for F column and enable file info and the problem will be solved. All right, you could see it's now enabled. Click on Next. Here, it says we should set the permission of these folders to 775, meaning we will locate the storage folder, and inside that folder, we will see three folders named App, Framework, and Logs. So what we will do next is to set the permission to these folders to 775. So let's fix that. And to fix that, head back to the bulk SMS, sender files and folders in the file manager. Now open the storage folder, and inside the storage folder, we should see three different folders named App, Framework, and Logs. So these are the folders I was talking about. We are going to set the permission of the App folder, the Framework folder, and the Logs folder to 775 and save. So let's do that. We are done with these three folders. Next, we need to locate the bootstrap folder, and inside the bootstrap folder, we should see a folder named cache, and we will set the permission to the cache folder to 775, and then we are done. So let's do that. The bootstrap folder is found in the main files, so click on one level up and head back to where we have all the files and folders. Here's the bootstrap folder, so open it. Now the permission of the cache folder is set to 755. So let's change it to 775 instead of 755 and save. We are now done setting up all the permissions. Now let's head back to our configuration and check the results. Alright, so you could see that everything is now marked as green after changing the permissions. And I believe you should be able to do it when you get to this point. So let's proceed. We are still in the process of configuring the bulk SMS sender. At this point, we need to set up a database and put the credentials here. So let's do that. But before we proceed, change the application name to your brand name. In my case, it's going to be bulk SMS arena. When you're done, head back to the main dashboard of your cPanel and set up a database. Scroll down to the database section and click on MySQL Database Helper. Give any name to your database and click Next Step. Now you need to set up your database username and password. Mostly, I use the same database name as my database username and password, just to prevent confusion. 
so you can also do same. Check everything and click Save Changes. Next, head back to the configuration page and fill in your database credentials. Again, I will refresh the page and start all over. Remember, I use the same database name as my database username and password, so I will just paste it into the fields and click Save. Here, we need to set up our admin login credentials for our bulk SMS sender. This part is important. If you get it wrong, you can't log into your admin dashboard, so what we are going to do here is to fill in our admin credential. The most important one I want to talk about is the email address for your admin. Please when you get to this point, do not use Gmail, Yahoo or Outlook as your admin email. We need to create one on our cPanel and use that. So let's head back to our cPanel and create the email. To create an email, click on Mail Accounts. Click Create. Give it any username of your choice. Next, generate or set up your own password and click Create. Alright, the email has been created. Now I'm going to use this email as my admin email. Now I will copy it and head back to the configuration page. Now fill in your admin credentials. When you get to the email section, put there the email you created from your cPanel. And when you're done with everything, click Save. After clicking on Save, you will be redirected to your login page to log in using the admin credentials you created. After logging in for the first time, you will be asked to enter a purchase code. The purchase code can be found in the SMS file you bought from Frank's Arena, so locate the file on your PC and extract. Now open the folder and you will find the purchase code in a TXT file named Purchase Code. Now I will copy and paste my purchase code and proceed. If you follow everything step by step as demonstrated in this video, you should be able to get to this point. So at this point, I will say congratulations. You now own yourself a bulk SMS sender. But we are still not done yet. What we've done so far is the phase 2. We are now moving to phase 3 which is the last phase. And in phase 3, we are now going to make some settings on our bulk SMS sender to be able to send bulk SMS. So let's get into that. The first thing I'm going to do is to change the theme of how the sender should look. This part is optional, so to change the theme, click on Theme Customizer. Like I said, changing the theme is optional, so feel free to play with the settings to your liking. When you're done, click Save. After changing them, follow me with the rest of the settings. The first thing we are going to do is to set up cron jobs. These cron jobs play a very important role in delivering our SMS using the sender. So to configure that, click on Settings and choose All Settings. Next, click on the Cron Jobs tab. Now if you check my dashboard, I have four of the Cron Jobs. Yours might also have four or even more than four or less. So when such happens, don't worry it's the same process you should follow to set yours up. Now like I said, I have four Cron Jobs meaning I will select each one and create four cron jobs on my cPanel. So starting with the first one, select it. Now copy the actual background job without the stars.
Next, herd back to your cPanel main dashboard. Search for cron jobs and click on it. Now under the general settings, choose once per minute. Next, paste the background job you copied from your sender into the team field and click add new cron job. Now repeat same for the rest. All right, we are done with the cron jobs. Now let's herd back to our sender and continue with the rest of the settings or configuration. Please, we've gotten to another important part, so pay close attention. I am going to take my time and explain everything to you for better understanding. We are now going to begin the actual bulk SMS configuration to be able to send bulk SMS. Without this configuration, we cannot send bulk SMS with our sender. So the very first thing we are going to configure is what we call the sending server. I will explain into detail the function of the sending server, but first, click on the sending tab and choose sending servers. Add new server. Now listen very carefully, I'm going to explain the function of the sending servers. Now let's take sending bulk emails as an example. In sending emails using any bulk email sender, you will agree with me that there's no way you can send bulk emails with the sender without connecting your SMTP to the sender. Let's take Send Blaster Bulk Email Sender as an example. This Send Blaster tool can never send bulk emails without connecting your SMTP credentials. So meaning this Send Blaster Bulk Email tool doesn't actually delivers your emails to your recipient inbox. But what actually delivers your emails is the SMTP. The Send Blaster Sender is just an interface helping you to be able to send your bulk emails, but what actually delivers the emails to their recipient email address is the SMTP. And this applies to every bulk email sender out there. Now switching back to our bulk SMS sender. What I explain under sending bulk emails is similar to sending bulk SMS. In sending bulk SMS, we use what we call API. Now this SMS sender we've set up cannot send bulk SMS without connecting API. Same as we connect SMTP to bulk email senders to send bulk emails. I hope you get the understanding now. So the next big question is, how do we get these API to connect to our bulk SMS sender to start sending bulk SMS? In sending bulk emails, there are so many services that you can get SMTP. Some of these popular services include SendGrid, Mailgun, MailChimp, and others. When it comes to getting SMS API, there are a whole bunch of services that provides these API. But fortunately for us, this bulk SMS sender we've set up has listed a lot we can choose from. And what you see here are different services we can use to get an API and connect to our sender and start sending bulk SMS. When you check here, we have 14 pages, and each page contains 10 different services we can use to getting API. Meaning, this sender gives you option to choose from 140 services or sending servers to get an API and connect to your sender. These are also services to choose from. Now note this, choosing a sending server here is optional. You don't necessarily have to use the same service I will be using to connect my API. Like I said, this sender gives you option to choose from 140 services to get an API. You can still decide to use what I will choose in this video, but note that if that doesn't work for you, don't stress yourself too much. There are a lot to choose from. So I believe you've now learned and now understands everything. So at this point, I will go ahead and choose any of the sending servers to get my API and start sending bulk SMS. In this video, I'm going to use Vonage. Again, choose any services you like. This part is optional. So after deciding on which service you want, click on Choose. Another good thing about this bulk SMS sender is that it gives you instructions to follow to connect the API. Note that the instruction to each sending server you choose will be different. Another thing to note is the pricing these services charge to send SMS. Some of them are expensive, others are very cheap. 
This Vonage sending server I choose charges $0.006 per SNNS. Other services like Telnix charges $0.0025 per SNNS. So like I said, it's optional to choose any of the sending servers that suit your needs. Now let me follow the instructions I have been given here to connect my Vonage API, and it reads as, create a new Vonage account here or sign into an existing Vonage account. It also provides us a link to visit the actual website. I already know the original URL to Vonage, so I will open a new tab and create a new Vonage account then we proceed. Now some of these services will ask you to provide your phone number to verify your account. You can use your actual phone number to do that. But if you are someone like me who don't want to use your actual phone number for the verification, follow this process. Note that this only work with USA numbers, so we are going to use a service called acarpt.com to get a real phone number to receive OTP code to verify our account. Again, this work with only US numbers, so open a new tab and visit this website. Click on sign up and sign up for an account. I already have an account so I will log in. So when you create an account for the first time, you need to buy credit with either PayPal or crypto. So you will click on buy credits here at the top. Then you select the number of credits you want and proceed with the payment. I have already bought some credits so let's proceed. Now click on select your service. Next search for the service you want to verify. In my situation it's Vonage, so I will search for Vonage. Unfortunately Vonage is not listed, so in this situation if the service you want is not listed, you will choose service not listed. Next select the zip code of any of the cities you want to generate the phone number and use that to receive the code. Lastly click request phone number. So you will be generated a real phone number from the US. All you have to do is to copy the number and use it to verify the account. Let me verify my email account then we proceed. After verifying your account they will send a code to the number you use during the sign up. So copy and paste the code and verify your account. Note that many services don't require this, it's just a few. So if you also face this situation, this is how to go about it. Now I will copy and paste the code. Alright so following the instructions, I have now created the Vonage account, and they've given me 2 euros as free credit to test their platform. Now let's proceed with the next instructions after creating the account. So the next instruction says, after login with Vonage you will find API key and API secret on dashboard. Copy this information and paste on bulk SMS arena, so for this instruction, I will copy and paste my API key and API secret key here. So let me do that. As indicated in the instructions, this is my API key and API secret found on my Vonage dashboard. So I will copy and paste them. Let's follow the remaining instructions. Next it says, for two-way setup, please go hashtag numbers then your numbers menu and click edit icon. Then insert this URL on inbound webhook URL field. So I will copy this URL and locate the inbound webhook URL field which can be found under hashtag numbers on my Voenge menu as instructed. 
Please note that your URL will be different from mine. Don't use the same URL I'm using or else yours won't work. So I will copy my URL. Head back to my Vonage dashboard and look for hashtag numbers on the menu. And then click on your numbers as stated in the instructions. Next I will click on the edit icon and paste the URL I copied into the inbound webhook URL field and save. Next, let follow the last instruction which says, for delivery reports please insert this URL on your webhook URL for delivery request field. So I will copy this URL and locate webhook reports for delivery on my Vonage dashboard. I believe the webhook URL for delivery can be found under the API settings, so let me click on that. Yes, here is it. So I will paste the URL I copied into the field and save, then I'm done. So that is how you connect your API credentials using Vonage. And like I said, for every sending server you choose for your API to send bulk SMS, you will be given instructions on how to go about it, so let's proceed. For the sending limit, each service you choose for your API has their sending limit per time frame, but Vonage own is 1,600 per minute, so I will set the sending limit to 1,500 per minute, which means that when sending in bulk, the sender will send 1,500 SMS every minute. In case you don't know the sending limit of the service you choose for your API, Make yours 1,000 per minute. That is if you're not sure, but if you do, set the approximate limit and proceed. Next I will click save and proceed. So that's how we add a sending server to be used to send bulk SMS with the sender. And you can choose to add as many as you want. Just follow the same instructions. So assuming I want to add Twilio as another sending server, I will click choose and then follow this instructions to connect my API credentials same as I did for Vonage. Again, this part is optional, so feel free to choose any of the sending servers to connect your API. Now the remaining configuration is somehow step by step, but not entirely, but follow me. So immediately after adding or connecting your sending server, this is what to do next. Click on the sending tab again and choose numbers. Now these are the numbers you will be using to send bulk SMS, and these numbers are gotten from the service you choose to connect their API. In my case it's going to be Vonage, so click Create. So I will herd back to my Vonage dashboard and get my numbers. Since this is a free account, I have been given a number to use, but I can buy as many as I want and add them to the sender but just one number can do everything so no need to buy more, and they are cheap. Now depending on the country you want to send SMS to, you will need to buy a number for that particular country and add that number to your sender. You cannot use a USA number to send a message to a UK number or an Australian number. So if you want to send to let's say France, you will need to buy a French number and add that to the sender. That was just by the way, so I will copy and paste this number. Remember that yours will be different, and unlike Vonage, any service you use also has an option to get phone numbers, so it's the same thing. Just apply the same knowledge. At the capabilities I will only choose SMS, since I will be sending only SMS. If you want to send MMS, then choose MMS. If you don't know MMS, it's whereby you attach a media-like image or a file to the SMS message you try to send. So that's what MMS means. When it comes to the pricing of the numbers set it at zero, that is if you are the only person who is going to use the sender to send bulk SMS. But if you want to treat it as a business and sell bulk SMS sending services, then you can set the pricing to your liking. Let me explain further. If you check the address bar you see admin, which means we are in the admin dashboard, so you do all the settings here. Now remember I told you that you need to buy the numbers from the sending server you're sourcing from. These numbers are cheap, mostly they cost less than $1 and this sender you see on your screen does a lot. So if you're someone who want to sell SMS services to customers, you can set the pricing to any amount and your customers will see this number on their dashboard. So they will purchase the number just as you also purchased from the source before they can send SMS. So that's how it works. Moving forward, you will get much clarity. 
Again, if you're personally using the sender, then set the price to zero. Next is the billing cycle. Remember, the numbers you buy from your supplier are renewed on a monthly basis, so you can also set yours to monthly so your customers can renew on their end. Finally, click Save. So like I said, you can send to any country you want. Just purchase the number of that specific country you want to send to and add it here. And if you want to resell SMS services, you increase the pricing when setting up, so your customers can also purchase because you also bought it. Very simple. Let's move to the next step. So after adding the numbers, the next step is to add payment plans. So click on the Plans tab and choose Plans. Click Add New. Give a name to your plan. Set the price to zero. Change the billing cycle to yearly and save. This settings is if you are the only person using the sender to send bulk SMS. Again, if you plan to sell to others, set your own pricing plan and billing cycle and save. You can decide to show in the customer's dashboard or not. Now after saving it, you will see all these new features and we need to go through each one by one. So click on the plan features tab. Now I'm assuming we are all setting up this sender to send bulk SMS for ourselves, but not to resell. So I don't want to explain much when it comes to reselling as a business or else the video will be long. So if you want to treat it as a business and resell SMS services to people, you can contact me and I will walk you through. In this video, I'm assuming everyone watching is personally setting up the sender for themselves. So follow the remaining. So for the SMS sending credits, check the unlimited. Scroll down and save. Next is the speed limit. If you could remember, we first set this up when connecting the sending server. And I explained that part, so you're going to repeat that here. Mine was set to 1,500 per minute, so I will repeat that and save. The sender ID section is not necessary, that's why I didn't go into that. Even though you can send with sender ID, but that requires a lot, and it's very stressful, so that is why I didn't talk about it in this video. Now let's move to the sending servers tab. Click add sending server. I have only added one sending server which is the Vonage. But like I said, you can add as many as you want. So when you get here, you will select the sending server you want to use to send bulk SMS. Mine is only Vonage, so I will maintain that and click Choose. Next is the pricing. This is where you will set the price you will charge your customers per SMS. That is if you're reselling SMS service to people. As already explained, each sending server you choose to work with has their own pricing they charge per SMS. Vonage for instance charges $0.006 per SMS. So assuming I want to resell SMS service, I will set the pricing to let's say $0.01. So anytime my customers send SMS from their dashboard, they will be charged $0.01 per SMS. Meanwhile, I will only be paying $0.006 per SMS, and I will get a profit of $0.004 per SMS. So that's how it works. But since we are personally using it by ourselves, set the pricing to zero and save. Lastly, click Add Coverage. Here, choose the countries you're sending SMS to. So in my situation, it's going to be United States, and you can add all the countries you want. When you're done, set everything to zero and save. So that's it. Finally, we are left with one more settings. So click on the Customer tab and click Subscriptions. Click New Subscription. And click Create. So that's it. We've done with everything. And we can now start sending bulk SMS. We are still in the Admin Dashboard. So anytime you want to send bulk SMS, you have to switch from Admin to Customer Dashboard. 
The admin dashboard is only used to set the necessary configurations, and the customer dashboard is only used to send bulk SMS. So to switch to your customer dashboard, click on your profile where you have your name and click switch view. So this is the customer dashboard. We are only interested in sending bulk SMS. And before we start sending, we need to add our list of phone numbers we will be sending bulk SMS to. So to do that, click on Contacts. Click Add New. Give a name to your list and save. The list has been created. Next, we need to import our contacts. So click on the Import. Now download the sample file. It's a CSV document so you can open with Google Sheet or Excel on your computer. So let me open mine because I have Microsoft Office installed on my PC. We are only interested in adding only phone numbers, so delete the rest. So what you will do here is to add all your numbers under the phone number column. And one important thing to note is to add the country code of the numbers except the plus sign. In my situation, I will be sending to USA numbers, and the country code for USA is plus one. So when adding the numbers, I will only put one in front of the numbers except the plus. This applies to all countries you want to send to. So assuming you want to send to UK numbers, where the country code for UK is plus four four, that way you will only add four four in front of all the numbers except the plus sign. So I believe you get the idea now. So what I'm going to do next is to add my phone numbers. This number is my Google Voice number. So I'm going to look for numbers online and use that to demonstrate to you after sending the SMS. So let me do that real quick. What I'm doing is just to show you after sending the messages, but for you, only add the numbers you want to send bulk SMS to. When you're done, click on File. Click Save As. Choose the location you want to save to. Now rename it how you want and save. Now click Upload and upload the CSV document you edited. After uploading, scroll down and click Save. Now click on the drop down under the phone number column and choose Phone and click Import. Depending on your list, it will take few seconds to import all the numbers. Now when I refresh the page, you could see all the three numbers I added to my file has been indicated here. Next, after importing your contacts, it's now time to send bulk SMS. And to send bulk SMS, click on the SMS dropdown and choose Campaign Builder. At the name field, give it any name to call your campaign. Now if you add more sending servers, you will choose the one you want to send with here. In my case, I only added Vonage, and that's why it's automatically selected. As stated before, you can send with sender ID, but that requires a lot from the sending server you will be using. So we will send with number. The next step is to select the phone number and choose which one you want to send with. Again, I first explained to you that you can buy more numbers from your API provider and add them to your sender, and all the numbers you add will appear here. So all you have to do is to select the number you want to send with. As simple as that. In my case, I bought another number using the two euros Vonage gave to me as free credit and added it to my sender, but I didn't show that part. So I got two numbers and I will select and choose one I want to send with. At the contact group, this is where you will select the list you want to send to. Remember before sending bulk SMS, I explained you should add your contact list first, so you just create as many as you want and import your list. After doing that, 
All of them will appear under the contact group section anytime you want to send bulk SMS. In my case, I only created one list where I imported three numbers in that list, so I will select that from the drop down. SMS template and the available tag is not necessary so let's ignore. Ok let me explain. The SMS template is straightforward. You just create a template containing the SMS message you want to send to your subscribers. So instead of typing the message each time, you just select the template and it will be filled automatically in the message field. So that's it. Finally, compose your message. If you check here, it says 160 characters remaining. Meaning for sending SMS, you can only send message containing 160 characters. It shouldn't be more than that. Now let me type my message and then we proceed. You can choose to schedule your campaign, setting a specific date, time and frequency at which your campaign should be sent. Finally, I will click send. The message has been delivered so let's wait for the results. There you have it. Now if you check the message I sent I got this free SMS demo test message added to what I actually send because I'm using the free credit Vonage gave to me to send. So that's the reason. Once I upgrade my account and deposit money into my account I won't get such text added to my messages. Now let's check the other ones if the message I sent was received too. So there you have it. It was received too. Finally I will say congratulations to me for being able to set up my own bulk SMS sender and send a message. For a recap this is the whole summary. Step 1 you will need to set up a website where you will need a domain and a hosting to make that work. And for that, you use Hostinger for the domain and ProHoster for the hosting. Step 2. After purchasing the domain and hosting, you need to link both to talk to each other. And for that, we use a service called Cloudflare where you will point your domain name to the shared IP address of your cPanel. Step 3. After your website now appears on the internet, it's now time to set up the bulk SMS sender and upload to your website. So you purchase the script from franksarena.com and upload to your file manager in your cPanel. Step 4. In Step 4, you configure the bulk SMS sender by performing all the necessary configurations such as adding your cron jobs to your cPanel and others. Step 5. In Step 5, you then go through all the sending servers the sender provides and choose the one you want to get API from and connect your credentials to the sender following the instructions given. And finally, you can start sending bulk SMS without any hustle. Now if you follow everything step by step, you have no excuse of not being able to set up your own bulk SMS sender too. Once again, thank you so much for watching till this end. I really appreciate that. Now follow the video step by step to set up yours. And if you still encounter any problems, you can contact me on Telegram or via email, and I will guide you. Feel free to join my Telegram channel for more goodies. So that's it for this video. I will see you in my next video so kindly subscribe to get notified when the video is released. Thanks for watching.